The famous Sphinx of Giza, is one of the most enigmatic monuments in history, it was built on one natural whole block of rock, it measures 238 feet of longitude by 66 feet of height, it seems that underneath there are various passages to halls that keep the knowledge of an ancient civilization, it has been known to have some entrances, one on top of the head and one behind the Sphinx, and if they had found something obviously they will not make it public, few know that through its history. Has been buried on sand, legend says that in the year 1400 before Christ, the pharaoh Tutmosis the Fouth, when he was a prince, he laid down on the Sphinx shade, back then it was the only thing that was visible on the sand, one day the Sphinx speak in one of his dreams telling him that if he unburied it, it will give him the crown of Egypt. Hundreds of years later, the sands of the desert buried it again, and this time it was Giovanni Battista Caviglia who in the years 1816 and 1818 took the task to unbury it again. There is a lot of evidence that make us think the Sphinx is older than the official date given by archaeologists, one of those evidence is the inventory stela, directed by the pharaoh Kepps and discovered by Auguste Mariette on which is told that the Great Pyramid and the Sphinx existed before the rays of the rulers of the 4th dynasty, this stela was never considered serious by the Egyptologist, because they had to admit that all their studies were wrong, for this reason they ignored this. Dangerous element that could overthrow their false lies. Especially the true about Egypt. But in 1990, there were several investigators lead by John Anthony West, they questioned the adaptation of the Sphinx, and based on erosion evidence concluded that the construction was done almost 13,000 years ago, hundreds of geologists supported the information of Webbs, but the official Egyptology pressured the government to prohibit the geological studies about the Sphinx and they tried to ridiculously anything that were against their interest, later on there were new details by Robert Val and Graham Hancock stating that the actual Sphinx head was not the original shape because of its disproportional size, and another more clear evidence is that the head does not show the same erosion as the rest of the body which is something very peculiar, to this we may have to add that several ancient books where they affirm that the face of the Sphinx was represented by a god that came from the stars, to all these mysteries, we may add one more, it's said that under the Giza's plate you, under hundreds of tons of sand and rock lays a second sphinx identical to the first one, this theory backed by a growing group of archaeologists, but what is this based on, they said that all the sphinx that had been found on Egypt, they had being found on piers, and if they had found an individual one it would be an anomaly, to this we have to add the old text of the ancient Egyptians, Greeks, Romans, and Muslims and archaeological data that refers to its existence, the writer and Egyptologist. Basam the Shema has been looking for the lost Sphinx for decades and tells about the myth of the Egyptian creation, where Adam had a son named Shu and a daughter named Teknet, curiously on the shape of lion and lioness, this gives credit to believe that the second Sphinx has the shape of lioness, in the other hand, he makes reference to the stela of dreams, crafted by Tutmosis IV, where there are two Sphinx shown, but this archaeologist is not the only one that supports this theory. Michael Poe is convinced of its existence, he affirms that there is no archaeological evidence whatsoever, that Pharaoh Khafren sent to construction of the Sphinx and he makes reference to an old papyrus where is mentioned that Khafren found the Sphinx, this means that the Sphinx is more ancient than the Pharaoh, on the same papyrus is written that there was another Sphinx in front of the first, and both monuments were built to represent the divisional line of the heights and lows of Egypt, too. The way to the buildings there are two sphinx, one on side of the other, but in the avenue to the temple, they are faced to each other, the Nile is the Egypt's avenue and it divides it by north and south, Bu, based on those ancient writings, came to the conclusion that the sphinx was built by bricks and exterior coat of stone, this coat disappeared after the great earthquake around the year 1200, even the people took their stones to rebuild part of it. This may had helped the deterioration of the bricks and finally, the gradual displacement of the Nile River to the east, moving away from the Sphinx ended up sinking the rest of the twin Sphinx, Tao makes reference to the writer from the 12th century, Ali Drysai, 
where he mentions on his writings of the bad shape that the second sphinx was compared to the first sphinx. Also he mentions on that on the 11th century, it was located on the other side of the Nile River, and it was on ruins, in the other hand, writers like Graham Hancock and Robert Val seems to agreed with the theory of the twin sphinx, that's how we found it on the book of the message of the sphinx. They affirm that the sphinx had a lion head since 12,500 years ago, it was facing the constellation of Leo, age when the pyramids coincided with the constellation of Orion, nevertheless, there are some who believe that the sphinx had a jackal head represented by Anubis, but none of those theories had been confirmed, but it's for sure that the actual head of the sphinx does not match the body by proportion. Another Egyptologist expert is Antoine Gigel, she has been living in Egypt for the last 23 years, she is convinced that a second sphinx exists based on the Greek text and jeroglyphics. Antoine has come to the conclusion that the Egyptian civilization is more ancient than the Ubi and Sumeria, according to the traductions that she has mowed on the jeroglyphics, Sumeria and Egypt were on war and the ancient priest left on their writings that Sumeria was a place of black magic and Egypt was a place of the white magic, these priests protected Egypt from the witchcraft of the Sumerian priest, Antoine was fully convinced that the pyramids existed before the Great Flood, there is evidence that the sea level was above Giza Plataeus, this show the severity of the inundation, the water reached heights of 75 meters, on the Plataeus their ancient records by the English stating that they found sea fish on the top of the pyramid and a lot of sea salt, but every time this kind of evidence is discovered, they disappear it, on the past researchers discovered remains of fish incrustated on the pyramid's rocks, and when they were doing the analysis, mysteriously the evidence disappeared, not long ago, Bazin believed Tha he has found the most important evidence of the existence of the second sphinx, is based on the results of the photographic analysis by NASA from a satellite interview, taken on the Giza's Paul Teru, it looks like NASA has lighted on yellow a structure, and Bazin is convinced that it belongs to the second sphinx, it's possible that Bazin is wrong, as we can see, all the experts agreed that a second sphinx existed but they differ on the reason and the location of it. Who knows? The important thing is that all of them coincide with the existence of the second sphinx and that for its construction they used bricks instead of stone. Like the sphinx that everybody knows, is possible that it was the same builders and that the second one was a bad imitation of the first one centuries later, it looks like the builders had lost the knowledge they they used to build the first one, we don't know, but maybe the most important thing maybe that little by little new discoveries gives us hint on the past as we can see, amazing us. <laughs>